Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and endless fields, there lived two inseparable friends, Thomas the farmer and Samuel the baker. These two individuals couldn't have been more different in their professions, but their friendship was as solid as the oak tree that shaded their village square. Thomas, with his weathered hands and callous palms, tilled the land with unwavering dedication. His fields were a mosaic of colors, adorned with bountiful harvests, a testament to his tireless labor and love for the earth. Every grain of rice, every ear of corn, and every plump tomato was nurtured with care and hard work. Samuel, on the other hand, was a master of his craft. His bakery was renowned throughout the region, not only for its delicious bread and pastries, but also for Samuel's unwavering commitment to integrity. His flour was pure, his bread was honest, and his trustworthiness was unquestionable. One sunny morning, as they sat under the shade of their favorite oak tree, sipping on cups of steaming tea, a curious idea arose in their minds. Thomas proposed, Samuel, my friend, why don't we exchange some of our produce and baked goods? It would be a refreshing change, and I've always wanted to taste your famous bread. Samuel agreed with a warm smile, and so the exchange began. Thomas handed over baskets of his finest vegetables and grains while Samuel packed his best. Loaves of bread and pastries, they parted ways that day, each feeling the excitement of savoring the fruits of the others labored as the days passed. Their lives continued seemingly unchanged, but something peculiar started to happen. Samuel noticed that the bread he received from Thomas seemed smaller, less wholesome than what he had sent over. Meanwhile, Thomas found that the vegetables he received from Samuel were not as fresh as he had hoped, and sometimes even a bit stale. Their trust in each other wavered, and they decided to confront the issue sitting beneath the oak tree once more. They shared their concerns. Thomas said, Samuel, I feel like the bread you send me is not the same as what you make for others. It's smaller, and the taste is not as rich. Samuel, with an honest heart, replied, Thomas, I've noticed the same with the vegetables you send. They're not as fresh as the ones I give to my other customers, but I couldn't understand why this was happening. Baffled and disheartened, they decided to visit a wise elder in their village. The elder listened patiently to their story and then shared his wisdom. My dear friends, he began, it's not the bread or the vegetables that have changed. It's the intent behind your actions. You've forgotten the true essence of fairness, honesty, trust, and integrity. You see, when you exchange goods, it should come from the heart, with the same care and love you put into your own work. Your intention should be as pure as your products. Thomas and Samuel realized their mistake and felt a deep sense of remorse they decided to make. Amends immediately, they returned to their respective crafts, this time with a renewed commitment to fairness, honesty, trust, and integrity. The next exchange was different. Thomas sent the freshest vegetables, and Samuel baked the most wholesome loaves of bread. The trust between them was rebuilt stronger than ever for their actions were now in alignment with their intentions as the years went by. The village prospered, and the reputation of Thomas's farm and Samuel's bakery soared to greater heights. Their story became legendary, 
not only for the delicious food they provided, but for the unwavering trust and integrity they displayed in all their dealings and so. The tale of the farmer and the baker serves as a reminder to us all. In the dance of life, our intentions are the music and our actions are the steps. When the two are in harmony, they create a masterpiece of fairness, honesty, trust, and integrity that can stand the test of time. So let your karma be a beautiful symphony, and may it lead you to a life filled with abundance, friendship, and the sweetest of bread.